Hi guys, Dr. Mandy here from German Chiropractic, and today we're going to talk about how to know the difference between when your baby is teething and when your baby is actually sick. Sometimes it can be really difficult to tell the difference, but there are some little things that you can kind of notice and pick up on to see if it is teething or if they're actually sick and you need to take them to their doctor. So some of the similarities are you can have a fever with both of them. Now typically with teething, it's not technically a fever because in pediatrician's eyes, fever is going to be anything above 100.4 and higher. So typically teething fevers are going to be in more in that 99 range. So again, not technically a fever, but elevated temperature where if it's above the 100.4, they'll probably have something else going on. Another thing that can be similar in both instances is rashes. So a lot of the times with teething, a baby can get like the red cheeks and kind of a rash on their cheeks because of it. Now, sometimes it could, this can also be a sign of eczema too. So you kind of want to be aware of that. With being sick, sometimes it's just in the cheeks, but a lot of times it's kind of full body rashes as well. The one thing, if it's just in the cheeks to kind of differentiate if it is a rash from sick or if it's a rash from teething, is typically teething rashes only last a few days and it's a around the day that a tooth pops through. So if it's consistently being a couple more days than that, then it might be something like the eczema or another illness going on in the baby. Two other things that are very similar for both teething and for both being sick is baby's gonna be cranky. I mean, they're sick both ways are in pain. They're not feeling well. Baby's gonna be cranky and fussy both ways. And they can be snotty for both ways as well. Now, sometimes this doesn't necessarily indicate teething if they are snotty, but they can definitely get all that mucus and phlegm buildup because of that. One other thing that's gonna make them very similar and kind of hard to differentiate is both with teething and with being sick, their appetite is going to change. Now, typically with teething, it just decreases their appetite. Sometimes when they're sick, they'll have absolutely no appetite at all. And you need to wor start worrying about making sure they're well hydrated. Now there's two things that are pretty much a good indicator that it's teething only and not sickness. And one is drool because of course their teeth are trying to kind of work through. So they have extra saliva in their mouth and they'll drool that out. And then the other thing is obviously putting things in their mouth, whether it's their hands, toys, trying to bite you, trying to put things in their mouth to give them a little soothing. That's a good indicator that it's teething. A couple things that indicated that it's not teething and probably is more in the illness range are gonna be diarrhea and vomiting. So especially if they go on for a few days, you wanna definitely make sure to get that checked out because you worry about dehydration. Typically in teething, you're not gonna have those two instances. Another thing is eye gunk. So you can sometimes notice they'll have some, it's almost kind of mucusy, kind of coming out of their eyes. A lot of times that's either conjunctivitis or they're starting to get an ear infection as well. So again, this is a good time to call your pediatrician and get that checked out. So again, I know it can be very difficult sometimes to be able to tell the difference between teething and being sick. Sometimes even with my kids, I still have issues that I can't tell the difference. But these are some of the little things that you can maybe try to pick up on, on whether you need to just kind of give them something cold to chew on or actually call your pediatrician and get them checked out. But if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to give us a call at the office. Thank you. Drum and different. The drum and different.